Welcome to another episode of Bushcraft Fun. Uh, today, um, I'm out the property again. Um, last video I did was uh, titled Bushcraft Fun, and that's basically what I'm doing. There's uh, really no other way to title this. Um, so basically, there's going to be a lot of videos at this property, the main campsite area that I'm working on, uh, building the A-frame shelter. And um, got confirmation uh, by Jeremy who helped me start the tripod shelter that Monday. Uh, this coming Monday we're going to get at it and try to uh, complete the tripod shelter. Which which that's been almost six months in the, in the making to finally get that shelter done. But it's a very complex shelter. And like I said in the last video, the more complex your shelters are, the longer it takes. Um, and the, the, the biggest thing I try to sell or tell people is I don't do a lot of pre-production. Uh, I don't come out here and chop up a bunch of logs and get stuff all set up and then I just click the, the film on and start filming, um, basically putting everything together. I do a lot of stuff as I go, uh, which I don't know if that's smart or not, but, <laughs> but I just wanted to uh, let you guys know today is another bushcraft fun day. Every day can be a bushcraft uh, fun day for you your family uh, just get outside uh, go enjoy hiking go enjoy uh, fishing do anything outdoors with your family breathing air um, if you get out in the woods you have some woods building something with your own hands and seeing the progress that you uh, make is awesome it's awesome to see what you can actually create I didn't I haven't created any of this stuff before I just came out and did it all hard work and it is gonna be hard work this is not easy work to come out here and, and manually cut all these logs cut all these sticks this is uh, real work but you'll see um, by doing the real work you'll see the production you'll see the accomplishments and it makes you feel good so we're gonna get started today I'm gonna do several clips for you guys and hopefully you enjoy it thank you quick tool review um, to drive the spikes in I use this hammer like in certain survivor situations uh, I can make a a wood chisel or a wood hammer myself but I have the equipment so I'm using it I'm using the Fiskars saw today and uh, using mortal or my Morikai knife with uh, the fire starter which helped get the fire going over there I got a fire going today um, got some um, 550 paracord to be uh, basically tying some stuff up safety gloves uh, lint, lint, lantern uh, on uh, lantern axe the multi-tool I got my gomboy saw right here and also the Sealy uh, uh, solar battery pack so I can charge my phone up later. So these are the tools I'm going to be using today to uh, get this get this stuff done today. So sorry about the shadows. It's a little shadowy out here. So I apologize for that. Okay, uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to saw these off here
All right. Saw that off so it's level for the most part. I don't want it to go too high. I think this is going to have to... All right, got this all pretty leveled. Uh, this one might be okay. Basically, I threw a few more logs up here, but uh, like I was saying on the other side, I'm gonna have to redo the other side because when you build the wall up, you have to have the same size of uh, uh, logs. And basically, uh, there's three different logs here of different sizes, so. You gotta do the job right, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut some more logs. All right, folks, I am uh, carving uh, or taking the bark off with my Mordecai knife. Um, I'm gonna be using this as a post. So basically, um, taking all the bark off gives it, you know, authentic look. And uh, putting the post out here is going to be the front of the A-frame shelter, like the walk-in area. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just wanted to show that I actually do a little bit of work. <laughs> so basically, take the knife away from you when you're cutting. And uh, just peel in the bark. Boy, it is a beautiful day here in Michigan. It's not as warm, but it's not bad. It's like 57 degrees out right now. I do got the fire going over there. Um, used my fire starter. Should have got that on film probably because I don't have too many uh, uh, videos of me starting fires. So, <laughs> But like I said, I'm uh, peeling the bark off this post here. I sharpened all my tools with uh, my puck. It's in, um, I think my videos, if you go back and look at uh, video comparisons or tools, what's in my bag, you'll find the, the, the puck. Um, you can buy that on uh, Amazon. I think it's the, the last key puck. And you can sharpen any of your tools, whether knives, whether it's you know, your axes, whatever. Uh, it's a very good tool. Um, definitely worth the money spent. But before I started today, I sharpened all the tools. So the axe, all, you know, the axe, the knives, everything's good to go. And you should always have sharp tools when you're on the job, especially uh, doing bushcraft or anything um, outdoors. Like if you're camping or whatever, make sure your, your axe is sharp and stuff so you can chop uh, wood properly without having issues. So... gonna whittle away at this for a little bit get it all I don't know if you guys can see the angle good I mean I don't technically have to uh, take all the bark off it just looks a lot better without the bark on it so that's what I'm doing here with this, taking all the bark off. All right, I did not show the progress, which I'm uh, <laughs> kind of bad for doing sometimes. Um, like I said, the camera angles are a little bit more tougher at times, but I got this archway in, uh, got it up, and I'm getting boards. Or sticks to run across the top there and I am uh, pretty much cutting all the bark off them 
to give them a uh, authentic look I'll back up a little bit more so you can see the archway that's gonna be the archway going into the a-frame shelter so uh, that's what I've been working on so far is building up the archway um, this afternoon I plan on uh, dropping a tree and cutting up the logs to finish uh, this side up and the other side and then I can start working on making the slant uh, slants to go up to the roof or basically it's gonna be all slanted Lincoln logged into that beam right there that you see so I'll be putting uh, all those in hopefully uh, t later on this evening or tomorrow for sure this is gonna be several videos here uh, at the same shelter area um, so hopefully you guys don't get bored with the same environment so this is what I'm working on uh, I will be in this area probably for the next month or so and then I will be switching uh, gears uh, trying to look for a small log cabin build area on the property um, several I think it was like two or three months ago I took a tour on the trails back here walked around a little bit and uh, saw some areas but um, not sure exactly where I can build the small cabin but I will get out of this area after a while but this is the current area that we're working on well I'm working on I don't know why I keep on saying we <laughs> um, I think that's another thing a lot of people say and you don't realize you're saying it so got a good fire going again today uh, just like I said this is all bushcraft fun that's what what I'm doing I'm carving uh, peeling bark off building up the boards to go for the archway and um you know having some good old bushcraft fun all right folks like i said uh i made some uh logs put some grooves or uh not logs but some sticks up here i did the grooves so uh it fits right on there basically going to go all the way across the arch here um, do uh, a bunch of you know sticks all the way across it putting grooves on each side so it sits in there sits on top of the pulse um, things are coming together like I said I still got uh, get a tree uh, cut down for the logs so I can log this side and log the other side Not sure what all I'm gonna get done today and as you notice All that brush that was in on the other video is pretty much all gone I've been uh, Having a steady fire going all day today got the wood getting burned up so Just out here enjoying my day um, have a lot of free time over the next few weeks, so this is going to be uh, a regular thing. You guys are going to get pretty consistent videos, probably two to three videos possibly over the next few weeks. Um, once I go back to work on the 3rd of May, it will be back to maybe one or two videos per month because of uh, time constraints and stuff like that. So um, definitely try to enjoy the videos. Uh, watch them to the end. It definitely helps. I'm, I'm noticing that people are only watching two to four minutes at the most. So if you can just uh, hit play, even if you don't want to watch it all, just set the phone down. If you're watching it on a phone, if you're watching it on TV, just go in the other room or do something else. Let it play all the way through. And uh, <clears throat> the longer it plays, the more YouTube uh, plays my videos. Um, and it definitely helps. Yeah, the algorithm, I can't even pronounce the word. It, it helps basically YouTube play the videos out more and it helps the channel. So uh, definitely appreciate all the support on that. All right, folks, this is what I got done for the day. I got the arch uh, built. I got three um, sticks up there. They all have grooves. They can sit up there. And as you see over here, 
these are the pre-cut ones sticks that have to go up there I'm gonna be uh, debarking them and then putting the grooves in there for them to sit up on there um, cleaned up the area a lot went all throughout there got a lot of the dead wood that was laying uh, out there and brought it in and burned up most of the, the wood got that whole pile over there that's been a lot of the brush pile uh, the rest of that stuff you see is all dead dead wood that I have to cut up in different pieces and throw in the fire but uh, it's getting cleaned up around here and um, that's basically what I got done today spent uh, some quality time it takes a little bit more time especially to, uh, to bark uh, the sticks and stuff like that but everything you see up here the arch was done today everything was uh, debarked then uh, all the pre stuff cut and then all the cleaning I did to the property also um, as you're looking right here that's the tripod shelter uh, Monday the side panelings are gonna go on and finish all the side walls uh, will well basically where it will be finished it'll be a finished uh, shelter so but that's that's all I got for you guys today well we made it to the end of my day um, I put a lot of work in the progress is uh, takes a while uh, especially cutting up all these logs I did find myself a little winded a little bit at times like I said I just recovered from COVID about uh, two weeks ago actually a week and a half uh, give and take but um, so I can tell that um, I'm not a hundred percent I'm good to be out here and doing stuff but I have to pace myself a little bit more I can tell that I, you know I'm a little winded at times when I'm cutting um, that's either because of COVID or because I'm out of shape <laughs> I'll go with both of those but uh, thank you for watching the different uh, clips that I put out here today uh, appreciate all the support from you guys hopefully uh, you've enjoyed uh, the videos I've been doing and um, always be kind to each other and be safe have a great day